Hi guys, I'm Gary with r &E Paint and Supply. Uh, RepaintSupply.com is where you can find us. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing a little buffing on a scratch on this uh, uh, Chevrolet pickup. And uh, Michael's going to be doing that for us here in just a few minutes. But um, we're going to be looking at the 3D uh, Car Care DA polisher today. Uh, it's an orbital polisher, random orbital polisher. We're also going to be using the uh, 3D Final Touch, part number 403, and we're going to be using 3D1, it's, which is a part number 400. And uh, we're going to see if we can get that scratch to buff out. Now, I uh, don't know if we'll be able to get that done or not with just the compound. And so we've got, as a backup, we've got some wet sandpaper and we got the sandpaper soaking here in the water. Uh, and we've got a package of, it's a part number, it's made by 3M, part number 3006. Uh, and this package has a 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and 2,500 grid in this one package. So we're going to get started with that here in just a few minutes. Hi guys, I'm Michael with r &E Paint Supply. So me and Gary are working on removing this tree scratch off the side of this truck. So before we start polishing on it, we're going to take some 1500 and 2000 grit to kind of refine the scratch. It's not real deep. Most scratches that you can feel with your finger, uh, you can typically buff out of the clear coat. But to make this uh, job look a little better, we're actually going to run over this with some 1500 and 2000 before we start buffing. And we are using this paper wet. to the polishing process. Uh, we're using the 3D polisher today. Um, and anytime that you're using a polisher, you don't want to start with a dry pad. And that's what we're going to use the final touch for today is to kind of moisten this pad just a little bit before we get started. So just a few little spritzes is all you need. And next we're going to add the 3D1. And you don't have to use a lot of this product. And you don't want to splatter it everywhere like I just did. But we're going to put just a few little dots on here. And most of this is with a new pad. Um, we're just really priming the pad with the, with the product itself. Um, so that's really about all you need to kind of get started. This scratch right here that we did not wet sand. Uh, this scratch that we had down here, we wet sanded with 1,500, 2,000, and 2,500. This scratch here, we're going to try to just polish out and just see how well the polish itself does. Okay, so we're... Right now we're going to be using the 3D polishing pad and they call this a spider pad and you can tell, you can see the little cuts in it. And they say that this is really good for holding product retention. So it's going to hold the product on the pad so it doesn't sling it off everywhere. Um, and as with all pads, especially when they're new, uh, dry pad, you want to make sure you use the final touch or something to lubricate the pad. Just a little bit. And it don't take a lot. Just, just a few spritzes is all you need. And again, we're going to use the 3D1. And this is the beauty about this particular product is one product will do all steps in the polishing process. So you can use this product for your coarse cut, for your medium cut, and for your final cut uh, or final polish just with one product. And all you're doing is you need to make sure you change your pads in between. And we're going to go ahead and prime this pad up. And because this is a new pad and we're just starting, I'm putting a, probably a little bit more product on there than we typically would need. But this should finish us out here today.
guys, we want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, and if you would please like and subscribe to us, we would so greatly appreciate it. Thank you.